Okay, so welcome to our quiz review for solving systems without graphing, part two. Um, and for those of you that are in my class, this would be the back side of your quiz review sheet. Okay, so the last part of the quiz um, to solve systems without graphing is to use something called elimination. And that's what we've, if you're in my class, most recently been doing is elimination. So let's start with the um, number six here. So number six, um, let me remind you that it might help you to put missing ones in if, that, if you notice them. So there's a one missing in front of each of the Y's. And right away when you put those ones in, you might notice that you have a positive one Y here and a negative one Y here. Okay, so elimination means remember that we are looking for one of them to cancel. Um, exactly cancel and equal zero. So positive 1y and negative 1y will do that. That means that we are going to start by adding these two equations up. So 2x plus 3x equals 5x. Positive 1y plus negative 1y gives us zero. That's what we needed. And negative 1 plus negative 9 gives us negative 10. Okay, we can drop the zero. So we have 5x equal negative 10. And then we're going to solve for x by dividing by 5 here and dividing by 5 over here. And x equal negative 2. So half of our answer is already done. And so what half is that? Remember, x is our first coordinate, so we have the first part of our answer. Now, to get the second part of our answer, we get to choose whichever equation we want to substitute that back into. So in this case, um, I'm going to choose the top equation because it's addition. So I'm going to take that negative 2 and I am going to put it in for x. So we're going to rewrite that top equation as this, 2. Instead of x, we're going to say times negative 2. That's our answer here. Plus 1y equal negative 1. Now you got to take a look at this. What do we do next? We multiply. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 1y, bring that down, equal negative 1. And remember now, y is going to stay here, so we're going to undo the rest of it. So to undo a negative 4, we will add 4 and add 4 over here. So bring down 1y again. Negative 1 plus 4 is going to give us 3. And finally, we divide by 1, and we get y equal 3, and that's the second half of our answer. So we know that our, the system will cross at negative 2 comma 3. Okay, let's go again. Um, so number 7 is very similar to 6. I'm going to leave that one for you. Notice there's a positive 4y and a negative 4y. That should be the ones that will cancel. Okay, I will help with number 8 though for the sake of the video. So number 8, if you look at it, um, it even when we put our 1 in, in front of this y here, we do not have exact opposites. We have a 5x and a 10x, and a positive 1y and a negative 7y. So we have to look at it and go, okay, can I multiply 5x by something to get negative 10x so that it will cancel? And the answer is yes. I can multiply 5x by negative 2 and it will give me negative 10x. So I'm going to do that. If you're going to do that, you must rewrite the system so that you don't get confused. So negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. Negative 2 times 1y is going to give me negative 2y. And finally, negative 2 times 9 is going to give me negative 18. Now the second equation, I don't need to change that. So I'm going to just rewrite that as is, 10x minus 7y equal negative 18. Okay, now that I have exact opposites, I can add. So 10x plus negative, or sorry, negative 10x plus 10x is 0. That's what I needed. Negative 2y plus negative 7y is going to give me negative 9y. And now negative 18, be careful, plus negative 18 is not going to give me 0, it's going to give me negative 36, okay? And so check that in your calculator if you're unsure. All right, drop that 0, so negative 9y equal negative 36. 
Now we're going to do our last step here and divide by negative 9, divide by negative 9. Y then equals, remember, negative divided by a negative is going to give us a positive 4. Okay, so on my answer, I'm going to put my answer over here. That is my Y value. That's my second value. So Y is 4. Okay, now we're going to go back and you get to choose which equation you're going to use. I'm going to use the top one. So this time I got a Y value of 4. So I'm going to substitute that in for Y, not X. Okay, so 5x plus 1, not y now, times 4 is what I'm going to use, equals 9. All right, now if you take a look at this, it's clear we need to multiply. So 5x, 1 times 4 is positive 4, so we're going to write that down, equal 9. And now you have a two-step equation. So to undo everything that's on this side, we're going to subtract 4. So 5x, bring that down, 9 minus 4 is 5, and then our final step is to divide by 5 here, and divide by 5 here, 5 divi divided by 5 is 1, and that's the end of our answer here. So we get 1 comma 4. Okay, hopefully you found that helpful, and um, if you're in my class, remember you can use your quiz review to help you out on our quiz that we will take tomorrow. Okay. Have a great day. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as possible.